In simulation, for each random variable, we need a way of generating a number from its distribution. If we were to go to a casino like in Monte Carlo, uh, which is where the term Monte Carlo simulation came from, the random element in the game is represented by throwing dice or drawing from a shuffle deck of cards. In computer simulation, we use a computer-generated random numbers. Uh, here, we let Excel pick a random number between 0 and 1. In Excel, there is a function called rand uh, that will give you a number between 0 and 1. And it's a number equally likely to be anywhere between 0 and 1. It's supposed to come from a uniform distribution between 0 and 1. Uh, you could try typing the formula in yourself. I got 0 0.693519. Well, what did you get? You probably didn't get the value I got, but that's okay. Because each time, the value generated is supposed to be different. A new random value between 0 and 1. So you and I will get different values. For demonstration, here is a set of 1,000 random numbers uh, generated that way. A lot of rows are hidden here to fit everybody on the same screen. Here's a corresponding frequency table. Uh, and the histogram. Notice that width of each bar is 0 0.1. So, you know, it goes from 0 0.1, 0.1 to 0 0.2, 0 0.3 to 0.3, and so forth. So we would expect one-tenth of the thousand values to appear in each bar. That is, the height of each bar uh, should be around 100. And you could see that here. Of course, in practice, the frequencies will vary. They will be around 100, but not exactly 100. And uh, when we hit recalculate, like I'm doing now, you could see all the thousand random numbers change. And the histogram changes too. So I'm making the histogram dance. You know, this is one of the fun things I like to do when I have some time on my hands. Another kind of fun thing we could do is Simulate a coin toss. Let's say you and your friend decide to play a game. You're going to toss a coin, and if it comes up heads, then your friend gives you a dollar. And if it comes up tails, uh, then you have to give your friend a dollar. The only thing is, oh, you don't have any coin with you. But, but we could use Excel to simulate uh, the coin tosses using the random numbers. To do that, we need to think about you know, what are the possible outcomes from a coin toss and what are their probabilities? Well, the possible outcomes are heads and tails. Now, what's the probability of getting heads? Assuming it's a fair coin, the probability of getting heads is 0.5. Now, what's the probability of getting tails? Well, that should also be 0.5. Now, we know that the function of rand gives you a number uh, from a uniform distribution between 0 and 1, like shown in this picture, and where this r is just a shorthand for the rand function. So we know that the probability of getting a number between 0 and 0.5 must be, well, that's the area of this part, half of this rectangle, so it must be 0.5. Probably getting a number between 0 and 0.5 uh, is uh, 0.5. And the probably getting a number between 0.5 and 1 is also uh, 0.5. So what we could do is, since the probability of getting heads is 0.5, we could assign this interval uh, to heads. So if I get a random number between 0 and 0.5, I will say I got heads. And if I get a number between 0.5 and 1, then I will say I got tails. So here's the rule. If the random number I generate is less than 0.5, then heads. If it's greater than or equal to 0.5, then tails. And to do this, we could use the, the if formula in Excel. So the if function has three arguments in the parentheses. First is the condition. So r less than 0.5 will be the condition to check. And if the condition is met, then here's a value you want to generate. So that's value if the condition is true. Now the third argument is uh, what you should get if the condition is not met. So that's value if the condition is 
false. So this will say, if the random number is less than 0.5, then give me heads. If not, then give me tails. And we need to double quotes around the H and T because these are the text, you know, not the numbers. So let's do the simulation here. Okay, we enter the rand function like this, get a value. Uh, then here we will use the if statement. If this number is less than 0.5, uh, then we will say we got heads. If not, we'll say we got tails. Okay, so I win. So I win a dollar. So now your friend says, wait a minute, uh, just doing it once is not really fair. Let's do it 10 times. Let's do 10 coin tosses. So we say, oh, sure. Let's just copy this down. So we have 10 of these. Okay, so here are now the outcomes. Notice that the, uh, the first outcome changed from heads to tails, and that's the property of the random numbers. Anytime you do something, anytime you edit a cell or enter some new value, uh, all the random numbers are going to change. If you want to fix the random numbers so that they don't change, uh, what you could do is uh, freeze them. Uh, that is right here. Uh, freeze them by turning them into values. You select the cells and then copy and then paste only the values back. So here's what I do. I select the random numbers, uh, then copy, and then you see there are several paste options and you can see the numbers here. This is the paste values option. So click on that. Uh, now you could see there are numbers here instead of the rand functions. We could also calculate the winnings by using the if formula. So if the outcome is equal to heads, then I win a dollar. If not, then I lose a dollar, so it's minus one. That's my winnings. Okay, then I would just copy this down to the rest. So you got negative ones and ones. Now I calculate the total winnings. I'm going to use a shortcut alt equal to get the sum. So here I win $4. That's pretty good. I like this game.